click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today's topic is a Laplace transform of ramp signal. Ramp means a function or a signal which varies linearly with respect to time. Whenever a function varies with respect to time but in linear manner means what? It is having some slope or it carries some slope. Now this ramp function is total depends on the value of a slope. Now if the slope value is 1 then this signal is called as a unit ramp signal. But if it is not equals to 1 then it is only a ramp signal with a given value of a slope. So let's start or we will draw first of all the graph of ramp wave and then we will write the equation of a ramp wave. Now, so this is the ramp wave which starts from 0. Now, whatever examples I am going to take, it is a one sided signal or you can say a causal signal. So, this ramp wave is also a one sided or a right handed signal or a causal signal. Causal or right handed means what? The function starts from 0 and terminates at infinity. Now, look at here. This slope or this ramp wave is also start from 0 and varies with respect to time towards a positive infinity. Now, this slope I have mentioned or I have defined it by some letter, let's say A. Now, a ramp wave. The definition of ramp wave is AT where A is the slope and it varies with respect to time. Now, this product is available when t is greater than or equal to 0. But when t is less than or equal to 0, the amplitude of ramp wave is 0. Because what I have done, I have drawn a graph or signals which is a causal or a right-handed signal. Left On the left-hand side, the amplitude of all the signals is always 0. Like in the previous case also in a delta function, delta function is uh, uh, only available at t equals to 0. Where? But what up when yeah, about a step signal? Now this one is a ramp. In previous video we have studied a step, step signal which is a, a right hand or a causal. Now in this video we are going to study a ramp wave. We are studying a ramp wave which is also a right handed signal. And in next video is also whatever examples I am going to take it is always a right handed signal. Now so what about left hand side? Left hand side is always 0 because the graph is present on right hand side. Now next thing is we will find out a Laplace transform. Now, Laplace transform of R of t means a Laplace transform of any time signal can be converted into or can be easily transformed into a Laplace domain. So, when we transformed into Laplace domain, we represent it by R of s. Now, according to definition of Laplace transform, what we are going to do, we will first of all multiply the function with respect to e to the power minus s t into dt and this product will be integrated over the range from minus infinity to infinity. This is what I have written on the board now. Next part is we'll substitute the values of ramp wave which is AT over here, but this AT is available only when T is greater than or equal to 0. So this limit will also get changed. Whenever I substitute A into T, then this AT is available from 0 to infinity. So of course I will substitute 0 to infinity, and in that period ramp wave is having amplitude AT. If I substitute less than 0, that is from minus infinity to minus 1. If the uh, integration limit starts from minus infinity to minus 1, at that time, I will substitute a ramp wave is having amplitude 0. So, let us move on to next part of this integration. Now, as I told you earlier, the ramp wave is having amplitude at, but only when the time varies from 0 to infinity, but it is having amplitude 0 when t is less than 0. Less than 0 means uh, on the left hand side the lowest value is minus infinity whereas the highest value is minus 1. So integration limit this one is the lowest value limit which is minus infinity and highest limit is minus 1 but doesn't matter at all or don't bother about it because ramp wave is having amplitude 0 on the left hand side. So this whole part becomes 0. Now the next part is look at here left hand side part. Here the a term is constant because this whole integration depends on the value of t or a variable t where the a is constant. So I will take this a outside and inside we have a t into e to the power minus t dt which is integrated over the range from 0 to infinity. Now in mathematics we have studied one integration rule that is a Liet form. Now Liet 
the first term in this part is algebraic which is a t and the last term of Liet is exponential which is over here. So let's say this is my t is my u and e to the power minus s t is my v. So according to Liet formula. Now in this integration what we are going to do integration of u and v using Liet formula will be u integration of v. Now in this part u is my t and v is my exponential term that is e to the power minus s t. So according to Liet form u integration of v that's why I have written t integration of e to the power minus s t with respect to time t because this is the dt and we are not going to change this dt value because it will be integrated throughout the time period. Now next part minus integration of derivative of u. So minus integration of derivative of u. u is my t that's why I have differentiated d by dt a t value which is differentiated with respect to time t. Whatever differentiation or integration we are going to apply it is always follows this value. Now next into integration of v again. So integration of this is my v. So this will be integrated again. Now we know that integration of e to the power minus st this is we have done in previous video also in a step signal also. So e to the power minus st is a e to the power minus st upon minus s. The value or the coefficient of t or will be in division. So e to the power minus st this coefficient of variable this variable in this integration the variable is t the coefficient of t is minus s so minus s will be in a division. So this is the part where minus s is present in both the sides over here also as well as over here. So now look at here d by dt of t can I say that dt dt gets cancelled. So this part will be solved and answer is always 1. Now next one this integration will be again applied on e to the power minus st upon minus s. Now look at here here also we have e to the power minus st upon minus s. We are not able to take this part common because this part is need to be integrated once again with respect to time t. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take this minus s common and which will be written outside this integration because this integration is total depends on variable t. Now I have taken minus s common so this middle sign will get, get changed and it will be a now plus. Now look at here this product is now minus t e to the power minus st upon s. I am not going to substitute this integration limit right now I will I am going to substitute it later on. Now first of all I will solve this part. Now integration of again e to the power minus st is again e to the power minus st upon minus s but look at here this minus sign will change the plus sign it will become minus and 1 upon s and 1 upon s will become now 1 upon s square. Now we will substitute the values of limit. The first one is upper limit. If I substitute upper limit infinity over here, so t becomes infinity, but e to the power minus infinity becomes 0. That's why I have written minus infinity dot 0. This 0 is comes from e to the power minus infinity, and this infinity coming from t. Now over here. Of course, first of all, I will substitute upper limit only and then I will substitute lower limit. So, look at here. If I substitute infinity over here, then this e to the power minus infinity becomes 0 and this whole term becomes 0. So, that's why I have written 0 upon s square. Now, look at here. Here also we have 0 by s. Here we also have 0 by s square. So, total become term becomes 0. Now, next one is we will substitute the up lower limit. Now, the lower limit is 0. If this lower limit is 0 then of course this t value becomes 0. This t is 0 though the whole product becomes 0. So 0 by s we have. Now if I substitute 0 in next part that is e to the power minus st. This t becomes 0 to e to the power 0 becomes 1. That's why I have written 1 by s square. Now just forget about 0 by s square. This minus sign will come inside and this part becomes plus. So I have written 1 by s square. Now. Just leave this 0 because 0 plus n is always 1 upon s square. 0 plus 1 by s square is always 1 by s square. Multiply this a inside this bracket. So what you will get a by s square. Now this is the Laplace transform of simple ramp signal which is a by s square. Now if I said this if I want to calculate unit ramp signal a Laplace transform of a unit ramp signal then unit ramp means this a defines the slope. So right now as I said it is a unit ramp means the slope of this ramp signal is 1. 
going will substitute a value as a 1 so result will be 1 by a square now if it is a if this function is a not a unit ramp signal then function a transformation of this ramp signal into laplace domain is always a by a square so if your ramp signal slope is 2 then of course we'll substitute 2 in over here so this will become 2 by a square the a value become 2 now if i substitute 3 then a value become 3 then this will become a 3 by a square and so on so likewise we can obtain a laplace transform of ramp signal with any value of slope you can consider any value of a just you, what you have to do you need to replace this a value by that given value of a slope if in exam it is mentioned 3 r of t 3 r of t means the 3 is the value of ramp or slope if it is mentioned 2 into r of t minus 1 so just leave this r of t minus 1 what is important r of t minus 1 means it is a ramp wave but multiplied by 2 means that 2 value is the slope so that 2 value i am going to place over here because it's a value of a so likewise we can solve a laplace transform of a ramp wave with any value of a slope now in next videos we will solve a laplace transform of remaining elementary signals so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe ikida for further more videos thank you so much